Hi, I'm Melanie McLeroy with Taurus Training for Expert Village, and today we're going to talk about puppies. Crate training your puppy can be a very important part of housebreaking and rearing your puppy. Now, a lot of humans have an inherent abhorrence of crates because we see, see them as cages. Well, we're not the same kind of animal as dogs. Dogs really like small, enclosed places. They love their little den, and that's what their crate can become. You can use the crate for housebreaking and to keep your puppy safe and out of trouble. Letting your pup just wander around the house is setting him up to fail, could put him in some danger, and it also sets you up to get mad at him for him doing something that it's really your fault that he got into in the first place. So please consider a crate for your puppy. Now, when you're choosing a crate for crate training your puppy, there are a couple of different options. This is a wire crate. A lot of people really like these because they're light and open. They're really nice for down here in the south in Texas for our hot summers. There are also the plastic airline crates, which dogs tend to like even better because they don't have quite as much um, room to see out of the crate. Now, just like everything else, the leash and their collar and their na learning their name, you need to move slowly. Don't just put your puppy in the crate. If you have gotten your puppy from a responsible breeder, he should already be used to a crate. So what I want to do is, little puppy, good boy, is have little Barto here have positive associations with the crate. So I'll give him some treats near the crate. Good. And then I'll simply throw a treat part way into the crate. And hopefully he'll run in and get it. So see, he's not even going all the way in the crate yet. I do not want to immediately put him in there and shut the door. Now I'm going to try a squeaky toy because he doesn't see the cheese. So see, he's thinking about it. Now since we're short on time, let me just describe the progression because this could take several days, even up to a week. You throw the treats farther and farther and farther into the crate. Then you choose something that the puppy likes to chew on, whether it's a, a tasty bone that'll take mm, 30 seconds to a minute for him to finish. Then you can close the door, but open the door before he actually finishes tr the treat. You can also feed your puppy in the crate. Good boy! See, the idea is for the puppy to learn that wonderful things happen every time he is in the crate. So then, when you need to leave him for an extended period of time, check out the video on housebreaking your puppy if you haven't already. Uh, or you need to go to the vet, you can transport him safely, and he's happy as a clam in his crate. So that's how to crate train a puppy.